Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back to share with you what I've been wearing this week. Actually, I skipped last week's weekly manis and I posted my uh, August favorites video. So I'm gonna share with you what I've been wearing for the last two weeks. So we're gonna go all the way back to last week. And the first polish that I wore is from Polish. This is Seaside. It's one of those kind of uh, cobalty blues. Lean a little bit on the neon side, but are universally flattering. But it has the hollow micro flakies in it and I love those micro flakies. A Noodles nail polish came out with the Neon Trio that incorporated neon flakies. Um, I know that um, one of the Polish for Days polishes, it was Animal Leaves, it was a June polish pickup exclusive that has those micro flakies in it. I think they look so good. So while this color, the base color in and of itself isn't super unique, I think the addition of micro hollow flakies kind of it, it separates it from the others. The formula is also really good. I mean, it is a blue. I'm a little bit harder on blues, especially blues like this. Uh, so it does have a good formula. Not super surprising, but it does have a good formula. I got this one opaque in two coats, but if you do a thicker first coat, I think that all you're going to need is just one. And the last polish that I wore last week is Zoya's Kendra. This is a part of the new summer nope not the summer the new fall elements collection this just recently released it's kind of a darker rosy color I picked this one out because I don't know lately I've been finding that I kind of want to switch things up typically after wearing a lot of glitter or bold colors I kind of want to go back some to something a little bit more simple and this was my simple polish that week um, like I said it is a darker rose color but this is not too dark you can see that it's a rose in any lighting and that's kind of what I was going for I kind of like that aspect of it although I do like darker colors as well uh, as with most Zoyas, this does have a good formula. You can get it opaque in one coat because Zoya, I don't know how they do their cream so well, but they do. Uh, but for me, I went in with two thin coats. Now moving on to the manicures that I wore this last week. So I started off the week with a stamping manicure and the base polish, I wanted to say color, but it's it's a curly glitter. So the base polish that I use is Fall Back in Love from Noodles Nail Polish. This is a recent release for that from them I want to say it's a reimagining of a previous polish that Natalie previously came out with this one has a white curly base and there's golden orange hex glitters along with chunky heart glitters all of the gold glitter in here actually is gold hollow glitter so there's a bit of shiftiness in this but I guess uh, she originally came out with this glitter combination in a clear base so it was originally topper this year she came out with it um, in a white curly base and we all know how much I f how I feel about those so I was definitely excited to see it be released. Um, and then I used the What's Up Nails B021 plate. I went ahead and just went with the leaf image uh, in the lower left hand corner. Believe it or not, I didn't have any leaf images in my stamping collection. I mean, I'm not a huge stamper. I love stamping. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, but with as many stamping plates as I have, I thought I would have a plate with leaves on it and I didn't. So when they were holding a Labor Day sale, I, I I got in on it. I figured 10% is better than nothing. So I picked up this plate and the other images on this plate are so cute as well. And then the stamping polish that I used is from You Are Sugar. It's just a brown stamping polish. It doesn't have a name on it. I'm pretty sure I picked this up off of AliExpress because that's the only website that I shop from that carries You Are Sugar, the brand. So um, I don't know. I mean, it's a good polish. It is teeny tiny. This is just six milliliters, but it is opaque. It looks really good, I think. Um, but I was a little bit worried when I picked it up on my stamper. I was using clear stamper, of course, and it looked like it was leaning red, uh, heavily on the red side. Thankfully, when I actually got it on my nail, it didn't come across that way. But I mean, it is good. It's opaque. It does its job. Uh, I just wish the bottle was a little bit bigger because I have a feeling I'm going to be using this brown color a lot this fall. And then on Tuesday, maybe it was Wednesday, my husband kicked me out of the house. I just don't do well with negativity and he knows that. And so he turned to the kids and said, okay, we're going to organize and mom's going to go to the store and get some nail polish. And I said, what? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so I stopped by my local Sally's and I came across Mustard the Courage. This is one of maybe two or three polishes from the fall china glaze collection that I was really interested in so I was happy to see it there on the shelf. Uh, this is a very brown leaning yellow uh, and I mean mustard the courage. Mustard is perfectly describes this type of color. 
Mustard doesn't really love me though. I've tried Never a Dulce Moment. I have um, Moonshine's Manny, Moonshine Manny's Southern Belle. They just don't look good on me yet. And I don't know why. Like I want to love them, but they don't love me back. So it doesn't look good on me. I know it doesn't. But the formula is really good. I got this one opaque in two coats. And the brush on this one is good as well. I don't know if China Glaze has changed their brushes. Because I picked up another recent release. Another polish from a recent release from them. And the brush wasn't as white as this one. So I, I don't know. Maybe they're going through a transition phase. I'm not sure. Uh, but the brush I'm definitely impressed with. I would love to see more of those brushes in China Glaze's bottles because I'm not really a fan of their long, thin, skinny brushes. I mean, they work, but uh, it just takes a little, few more strokes to get get my nail fully covered. So anyways, it's a good one. It just doesn't look good on me. I'm, I'm probably going to try to use this again in maybe a nail stamping mani. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. And this last one is on my nails right now. This is Cosmic Chaos from Finger Paints. It's a part of their summer 2018 collection that for me just started popping up with my Sally's about three weeks ago. So it seems to be a little bit of an odd timing for them to release their summer collection. Uh, so I'm not really sure what that's about. Maybe maybe something happened in in manufacturing. I have no idea. But this is a darker vampy. I, I want to say it's like a berryish purple color because you can see purple in it but you can also see that it leans a little bit to the red side. It is a linear hollow and just like Majestic which I wore a couple weeks ago uh, the hollow in this isn't as prominent as it could be. Um, it is a very opaque polish and so because it is thick because it has such high opacity uh, that hollow does get covered up. This is probably going to be a collection that um, is a little bit polarizing because you have diehard hollow fans and then you have others who are just kind of like, oh, that's fine. Hollow's cool. Uh, so for me, I actually really like the, the polishes that I got from that set. But like I said, it's not going to be for everyone. For me, I could have just used one coat and gotten away with it but I've said this before I like to use a second coat to kind of cover up any of the ridges in my nails I don't have a lot of ridging uh, but I just like how the second coat of a polish just kind of smooths everything out so that wraps up what I've been wearing in the last two weeks if you have any favorite uh, stamping plates for fall please let me know in the comment section I am looking for more stamping plates this is like the only plate that I have now that has any leaves on it and I would like a little bit more variety but I'm just not quite sure I don't know. I'm not sure of all that's out there. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!